Hi there, uh, today we will download and install Apple Configurator 2 and then I will give you overview what can you use it for and uh, how to navigate through it. Okay, so the first thing we go to, to the App Store and we search for Apple Configurator 2, if you see it in here. And for me, because I already have it before, then I don't see it in here, so we re-download it. Now, of course, uh, this is a free app from Apple, and it's only running on a Mac, so you cannot run it on a Windows machine. So we open it, and then we accept, and get it started. It's as simple as that. Now, because we don't have any devices, don't have any devices connected to my Mac, uh, you're not seeing any devices in here. Now, what people use Apple Configurator to? Uh, now, with the T2 chip and with the M1 uh, silicon, you can revive the Mac to flash the firmware or you can restore. Uh, the revive is only flash the firmware, the restore is will flash the firmware and will reinstall the Mac OS for you. Uh, what other things you can use, uh, you can reset all content setting, you can restore it, you can update the device. Uh, for instance, if I connect my phone, let me use my cable. Okay, so now I will connect my iPod, iPod Touch. Of course, you can connect your phone, your iPad, or any other devices. So this is what you will see. Um, for instance, if we said you wanna reset all content and setting or you wanna restore it. To do that, we go all the way on the top. We click on action. Then we go to advance. Of course, first, if you see this, it's grayed out. That's mean we have to click on the, on the device. And then we should be able to get more option. So in here you can erase all content and setting. A revive device that does not work with the iPad. This is for MacBooks or iMac. And uh, here if you can see clear passcode, the devices has to be supervised to be able to do those. But you can erase all content setting, you can shut it down. If you wanna restore it to factory setting, this is what you do, restore to factory setting. Uh, now, who use Apple Configurator too? Like most small businesses or schools, uh, they do use it because they can manage the devices. They can create a profile and a blueprint and they can push apps to the devices. Uh, but uh, they have to connect the device manual to the Mac to be able to do that. They cannot do it remotely. If they want to do it remotely, then they have to use a mobile device manager, MDM. So this is how you download and install the Apple Configurator 2. My next tutorial is going to be how to revive the T2 chip. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment below. And if you like this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.